so in the last video as we were discussing about this image so this image i have inserted and i want to discuss it in the class and i want to highlight what it needs to be discussed and what needs not which what needs to be excluded from the discussion and what is really important so i can use these options to highlight my content here also in this image okay so let us say i have chosen this marker and i want to highlight that this thing is really important that big data at different scales so i can underline or i can circle it out or i can use an arrow like this thing is really important um, whatever i like i can underline my content to highlight it and i can write it like very important against it all right so you can point it out and if you want to exclude something that should not be discussed you can just click on you can draw cross or whatever you feel like so you can use it as you want okay now this is not the case that this is all here so if you want to get back to the original image so what happens is you can just go you can either you can click undo uh, and it will undo all your content yeah, here is the undo and redo button so you, it can undo all the content whatever you have drawn on this image or you can just select the layers so you can see here the two layers you can see the one is showing whatever i have written on the content and the other one is showing the image so let's say I, uh, if i disable this so now i am back to my image so in while doing undo you need to click several times to undo all of the things so in by so therefore it is better option it is convenient more convenient to just click on the layers and disable that so this i option this layer is hidden so if i unclick it so all the content that i have written will be visible again so now sometimes if i want to uh, i don't want to see this image i just want to see what i have written so then i can disable this image and i can see what i have written so if you have written any formulae or you have written any important points regarding anything so then that will be clearly available here so uh, multiple layers can be created so you can add layers from here as well so you can whatever you write that will be created in separate layers all right you can delete those layers and you can hide or unhide them using this i button okay and you can also select the contents like what contents you want to keep in this layer and you what contents you want to keep in this layer okay so let's get back bring back our image and here you can see this is my image is back and this is the this content is if i want to hide it now this is not available okay so this is how you can use an image to explain more elaboratively during the class okay now you can save this image whatever you have taught or let's say i want to keep this thing on and i want to inform my students that this is really important and this is to be excluded then i can keep as it is i do not want to hide any layers and i just need to save it as an image so i can save it as an image and i will share it with them so as you can see uh, canvas.png this image has been automatically downloaded and i can share it with my students later on all right so now since you are all familiar with the functionality of this board and you can use it accordingly you can use it as a freehand drawing tool as you can see from the new drawing you get a blank canvas you can write whatever you like and if you want to use any image or a particular diagram then you can just click on this and start elaborating the diagram okay so if i say this thing so now the main thing is how to include this board in the meeting so again let's go back get back to our meeting now i want to present my screen so to include the board you just need to present your screen now you can present your entire screen or you can just present a window so since this is available in my window or a chrome tab you can choose any one a window will display all the tabs and a chrome tab will particularly display that particular tab so you can select from here which particular tab you want to select so i want to select the canvas and i want to share this tab and here you can see sharing this tab to google meet.google.com so this is being shared in my google meeting and everyone can see it okay you here you get the notification and you can stop it whenever you like to. You can just stop.